Well, I've been following Robert Murray Smith's videos and uh, decided to have a go at his method of making graphene. And so I didn't have the right kind of graphite powder, but I did have one of these pencils here. So I decided to put some of that in a bag and hit it with a hammer and smash the stuff up as small as I could get it. And one of the funny things was I, uh, I found out the bag itself now is electrically conductive. <laughs> so, <laughs> plastic bag with a resistance reading. So that was pretty funny stuff. Anyway, he uses um, the dishwashing soap and some isopropyl alcohol and uh, then a blender for about 20 minutes, between 20 minutes and 75 minutes, I believe. Well, I haven't got a blender, so I decided to use this jar and uh, shook it for a load of half an hour and hopefully that will do the similar sort of thing. So, while I'm waiting for that to settle, I thought I'd have a few experiments on what was left when I filtered it through a coffee filter and that's what the video is going to be about. Okay, so this is quite cool, but it's it's going to be difficult to explain, I'm quite sure, but you can see that LED flickering away from a blocking oscillator in my hand. And what it was, I decided to polish <laughs> polish this up. This is the coffee filter, and you can see the sheen that's going on. But I basically wanted to remove all the smaller particulates there and uh, do something else with those. But in so doing, the piece of cloth I was using, I thought, hang on a minute, that's been polished up itself. So I put a piece of there you go, some piece of kitchen foil on the top I just held this oscillator to it and as you can see oh, it was doing, I've not got, there we go <laughs> put the connection back on again you can see that it runs and that's, that's no charge, no nothing and it's just running so I'm really unsure how um, how it's managing to do that but there we are, so even your polishing implement, if you get that shine that you're looking for, then uh, it looks like it can do something. I just thought that was pretty weird stuff. Anyway, onward. Here we go, this is hopefully a little clearer. I've now damped this cloth, so it's just got the, uh, the graphite on it. And uh, there's the os oscillator running nicely. Take it away, you can see that it stops. Yeah. Put it back on again. Now, ah, off it runs. Here's a bit more of a practical example of, uh, of what can go on. What I've got here is the surface of a CD, and I put a small amount of this from the coffee filter onto the CD surface and polish it up a bit for a couple of minutes. And I put the wet towel there and a bit of aluminium foil, and the uh, the watch runs and as it's starting to fade off now so I can recharge it again using this 9 volt battery you'd never normally think of putting a 9 volt battery to one of these 1.5 volt watches but if I put that to there and that to there there we are the watch comes back on leave it for a couple of seconds there we are off running again so a lot of fun this stuff okay thanks for watching